Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Pathologic 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So we'll start uh, doing it. <coughs> There's a cat, guys. <laughs> we'll start doing an intro and outros on this menu here uh, so that we're not wasting any time because, man, you do not have a lot of time in this game to get stuff done. One thing we noticed is that we got a shit ton of silver. I don't know if the boss guy gave that to us. I didn't even register it at all. If we stole it from him. Uh, but yeah, we got 1,532 silver. We're filthy rich, guys. We can go shopping. Yeah, maybe. All right, so to start out in today's episode, aren't we running way over here? Wasn't that the plan? Probably. I think that was the plan. Uh, though it does look like there's still a mission here that I can't see what it is. Uh, I just might know what Father wanted. Oh, okay, so we can speak with... The daughter. The daughter on there. Okay. Uh, well, we're here. But you know what? I'm really set on going this way, guys, so... Someone's waiting for us. We can't keep them waiting. Not any longer, man. They've been waiting for us for a long time. We're going to do a little bit more running as well. I know in these games you don't want to run much, but, uh... You know, you can just fill it up with the water, although that took way longer than I thought it would. I know this game keeps, like, telling you, like, Oh, time is of the essence. Hurry, hurry, hurry. But I'm just... I'm not like that. You're just not a rusher? <laughs> no, I'm not going to rush. I think it's fine. Well, what I'm concerned about is, you know, we have seen... Oh, we got to go. That's right. We have to go up this way, don't we? Yeah, that's right. We can't get through here. All right, I remember now. Because, of course, you can't just go where mm -hmm. you're supposed to go. You know, but as I mentioned in a previous video, Jinx, I feel it's very fitting that these neighborhoods have cut themselves off from each other and built walls around their neighborhood. I think that's realistic, but... I mean, it would be if there was something actually separating these people, like class, but everybody's poor and dirty, so what are you trying to protect your stuff from? Are they, though? I don't think so. Some of these houses are much nicer than some of these other houses. Whatever. They're all dirty, that guy's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they are all dirty, though. Uh, we're going to try and get his toast. Oh, there's nothing he wants from us. Just the lockpick. He don't even want our money? No, he doesn't want anything we have. You know what we're going to do? Uh, we were looking at this when we were uh, testing our sound today. And uh, we realized we wanted to sharpen up our knife here. Uh, so we have this grindstone. I'm Let's touch it. Touch it. Uh, so that's it. So basically, the reason why uh, the sharp objects seem to be like made illegal here is because of their religion. I think that's interesting. Uh, how do you sharpen? Did you touch it? Yeah, I touched it. I touched it, Jinx. I touched. See, I'm touching. Mm. Well, you can't sharpen it then. Maybe you'll go to hell. Maybe you move it on top of it. No. Huh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how you sharpen things. Have we not learned how to do that yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you guys happen to know, though, again, it feels like we nobody that's currently watching the series right now. Has knows played the game. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> All right. Well, that's a shame because I was trying to. Uh... Okay. Whatever. Let me done about that. You didn't drop it, did you? No, I didn't drop okay. it. Okay. Not still there. Like, I'm not entirely sure. We better. probably should have fast traveled, man. Oh, with the little boat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No one cares about you. Nobody cares. No one uh, cares talk about to this, this little kid not wearing any goddamn pants. Uh, are you sad? I am sad. I ain't got time to be sad. Just wanted you to know I sympathize. I've never had parents. I've never had anyone. So I know how terribly awful it must feel right now. Uh, if you never had parents, then you don't. What do you want from me? <laughs> All these are pretty <laughs> rude, man. I'm sorry. I said mean things to you. That's why you think I'm evil, isn't it? But it was the truth. Oh, okay. Maybe she's talked to us before and we forgot about her. Like, whatever. I don't care. All you children look the same. It's fine. I don't hold a grudge. Just wanted you to know that the girl from the cemetery, Grace, is talking to your father right this moment, and I think it strains her a great deal. Are you messing with me again? They're speaking, and I think it's killing her. Could you tell her to stop, please? I think she might listen to you. I feel sorry for her. Do you understand? Right this moment, you say? She says, right this moment. And he's responding? Why don't you believe I'm a good person, Barack? Open your eyes. I speak the truth. Remember, I'm always speaking the truth. All right. Fine, I'll take a look. It turns out she lied to us. You're a deranged fucking lunatic, child. Uh -huh. Where are your parents? Oh, what the fuck? 
No, okay, that's not it. <laughs> I was going to say, that's like really far. Well, I mean, the dad is over there. Oh. <laughs> that's what the event at the cemetery was. Well, book that. We're not running all the way back there <laughs> right now, guys. We've got a quest. Someone's waiting for us, god dang it. Mm hmm. Well, we're also going to see what those kids are up to as well. So there's a couple events off this way. Is it this way? Nope. It's. Well, hmm. <laughs> We need to get around the the houses here, so we'll probably go well, this way. Well, kids are freaking weirdos, so I wouldn't bother with them. I don't know. I think something's going on with the kids. I think there's some uh, fishy stuff going on with the kids. They drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I don't know exactly what, what's going on. We're going to loot this trash can. I'm pretty sure we didn't loot this yet. So there's probably some goodies in it. Oh, there's a grindstone. Right, you can, can stack can the grindstones. <laughs> we can and touch the grindstone, Jinx. Can't use it, though. We can caress it. We could thunk a kid on a noggin for being annoying. <laughs> could do that. Got another spring. I don't know who's going to want to trade for them springs, but I'm uh, sure I somebody. I love springs. I like to squish them between mm -hmm. my fingers and flick them. Springs can be fun. And we are so exhausted. You can see that the uh, leftermost uh, red bar on the Stanima, that's the one that doesn't restore and that we'll have to like drink water to fix. Loot it, damn it. Why does it gotta load every time I loot? Just cause. Just to be difficult. Maybe the game, that's part of the game. Yeah, I just don't know why it's gotta load so much, man. I think the game is just testing your patience. Well, it's not like it's like the most attractive game or anything. Like, like the graphics about? aren't the trash like. can is beautiful. Super impressive or anything. Nobody wants to trade for my shit. Here, I got all this. I got a pocket full of garbage, and nobody wants it. See if he wants a mouse. Let's if I can just I think I grab him. Ooh, a straight razor. <laughs> Kids love it. <laughs> Let's touch it. So can you not equip it as a weapon? It doesn't look like you can. No. Okay. You can just trade it to the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing in this one. All right, let's keep on running. Man, it's going to take us all day to get across the damn map to go to this place. Yeah, it I probably does. should have fast travel. It's like a maze. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to run, guys, because if we walked, I feel like... And it, you have so much water available right now uh, that it's not so much of an issue. I think later on this won't be an option, though, because we'll have to be managing our water a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and fill up our water. We had, I think, three. Yeah, three empty ones. Get another drink. A kid there to pawn off your razor oh, he's a, blade. Oh, he's a tiny little child. He's just got a fingernail. You ain't got nothing good, kid. No, and we don't have enough to trade for. Peanuts but are for talk winners. Talk to him, but... <laughs> Peanuts are for winners, Jinx. You gotta have something good to trade for. You want to paint it. Right, let's see if this kid's got anything. Got morphine, but again, uh, they don't want any of my shit. Just your peanuts. Yeah, they just want the peanuts. Like, hey, you half-grown kid, you got something to trade? You got an apple, old rotten apple here. Mm, they don't want anything but my good stuff here, though. All right, we haven't a lot, had a lot of luck with the trading today, guys. All right, so we need to go this way. The bridge square. So much loading. <laughs> Okay, I recall that. Whoa. From. That's faint. I recall that from the beginning episode. Look at all these kids here. Is this where we needed to go? This is. Someone is waiting for me. It's these kids. The ones that we blew off. We'll talk Excuse to that one. Mesa. He looks like the leader, doesn't he? Now lend me your eyes and ears. We trust you, so we'll let you in on the game. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, sounds important. Very much so. We've never ever allowed an adult into the great game. It's forbidden. You'll be the first, or rather the second. Believe me, we wouldn't invite you if not for that first one. The first one was our father. What first one? The one. The one everyone's after. The person who's, well, the old man. I mean, you father. I mean, you know. What are you kidding? Impossible. Have you, like, seen them? All right, we'll say, uh, we'll say this one. We've seen whatever they left in our game. That's enough. What game? 
So let me explain. We have these caches, lots of them all over town. That's where we leave messages and gifts for one another. It's a test of intuition. If you find one, you get to the next level. It also tests greed. Whoever takes items without giving anything in return gets kicked out. But that's not important. Not what you should be thinking about. What should I be thinking about then? The murderer left some items tonight from the old man, bloody. Something in a scary note saying they know we'll try to catch him, that we're reading it and they see it all. It shook me in my boots. Where did you find these <laughs> items, child? <laughs> <laughs> there are two caches nearby, the dam and the bowsprit. Go and you'll see for yourself. Only if you take from a cache, leave something to respect the rules or it's all go sell. I think it's funny how Jinx's bird sound is the same as her freezing sound. <laughs> Instead of going like a... <laughs> <laughs> or uh, I don't know. What's the freezing sound everybody does? But anyway, that's the same. Burr. Yeah, burr, yeah. <laughs> so instead of having like the uh, two different sounds, she just has the same sound for both. <laughs> so you don't know if she's cold or if she's trying I to like be a to bird. I remain flexible. I do respect rules. Effects. I will follow them. Players already gather here in the stone yard, next to the caches, I mean. They've already been to the middle town and the earth. Maybe they found something there, too. I believe three parties are already here. They might know more, but I don't know where they are. I've been standing here waiting for you to pass by like an idiot. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess we'll say Let's thanks try. for waiting. All right, so we're participating in their game now. How fun. Okay. Ooh, a house where strange things will happen. And then we have another stash up here. So one's, one's there, and then one's here, and then this is like a kid's nest in the house. I thought they said there's three stashes. Is this the third one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, while we're over here, let's go ahead and talk to Khan, which I guess Khan is actually the leader of the kids, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Um... Uh, She's got raisins. Yeah, she don't really want to trade. Why does none of their stuff have any goddamn value, man? Not today. Oh, he wants something, some of her junk. Uh, so... He wants your sharp things. Mm -hmm. Get the immunity boosters. Those are kind of expensive, though. Yeah, I don't we already have some immunity boosters as well. Uh, so let's instead... I'd like to see how much a repair is. Oh, I can't repair anything. I was wondering if she could repair that blade for us. It's got chestnuts, a needle, yeah, nothing that we want. Alright, so I think that's Khan right there. Oh. Oh, it's the dog kid that we met earlier. I Maybe. To break it to you, big fella, but we don't let just anyone in. I'm here to speak to Khan. Khan? What do you want with him? Uh, it's him who wants to meet me, not the other way around. We'd know if he wanted to see you, know why you're all grown up. Because you forgot how to lie. There's an art to it. Oh. I would think I thought you did want to see us. <laughs> I didn't know I was lying. Got me there. Never been a good liar. So Maybe because you failed. Yeah, because we lied, I don't think we're going to get in there. Game over, man. Huh. Hey, he lives over there? Yeah, I don't think we're getting over there. He lives up. Up there. What kind All right. of weirdos just hang out with a bunch of kids? I think the con guy is a kid. Oh. I don't know. I think there's some fishy stuff going and on with these kids, man. He lives in the big building? Yeah, I think so. Oh, is that a building? Or whatever it is. I don't know what that is. I, I guess I don't know who Khan is. I guess we'll find out later in the story. I Did we try to trade have never with this little come girl yet? Back. Oh, she's got an egg. She Nothing like a peanuts. good egg. The peanuts aren't worth much, though. It's not True. enough. Yeah, we can't trade for the egg. All right. You're, did we loot all these? I'm pretty sure we did. You're bigger than these people. You tell me I should just, <laughs> just take them. Take it. Beat the kids up and take Give their food. Give me your egg, kid. <laughs> all right, we're gonna run over there and drink that water real quick. Can't push that little girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, away. No water for you. I don't think she was going for the water. We can't have any water. That's what it looked like. No. I was saying, yeah. Like, no water for you. I do like her boots. <laughs> Jinx is a big fan of boots. Oh, okay, so we have to cross the bridge. You can never have too many pairs of boots. Completely untrue. You could. Um, no, you can't, because <laughs> I have lots and I need more. <laughs> See, when the way you can have too many is when you want other shoes, but you spend all your money on boots, and now you're trying to get me to buy you shoes. 
That's when you know you have. Well, I need those shoes. I shouldn't have to pay for things I need out of my own money. <laughs> First of all, Jinx ain't got no money. <laughs> and she doesn't need shoes. I do need shoes. She's I need got sneakers. shoes. Oh, look at this. We got broken. She's got three pairs of sneakers, guys. <laughs> she wants more. And then she spent all her money that she did have. She spent it all on boots. And so that's what I meant. You spent. You can have too many boots. If you buy so many boots... But now you can't get sneakers. All right, so we got another thing of fishing hooks and another broken scissors for trading. So we're getting all kinds of junk in this one, but nobody wants to trade for any of our junk. Because it's junk. Yeah, but normally people be trading for our junk. Like somebody's got to call it treasure. All right, so we went the wrong, wrong way. I need to go up this way, guys. Did we check this trash? Did it run right by it? Oh, we found a button. It's like her daughter. She's a little entrepreneur. Yeah, She's always chisel. trying to sell shit to her classmates. I'm like, kiddo, that's junk. <laughs> <laughs> like, some may call this junk. Because she's watched us play Skyrim a couple of times. Uh, so maybe you need the grindstone and the chisel. I don't know. Or maybe you can't do anything with it. Maybe you can't repair yet. Yeah, that might be an option. Let's just take a look and see if there's... I can split that. Let's see if there's like... Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how you repair shit yet. Maybe they haven't taught us how to do that. We don't have any skills. It's only day two. True. Alright, let's get back into the map. Alright, so we need to go this way. To get across this, uh... Down the alley. This bridge. And then we'll go over to the kids thing, just because it's close. I'm not really prioritizing the kids' dumb game, but it's close by, so I figured we'd do it. And they said that there's goodies. They did say it's goodies, but didn't they say you can't take anything without putting something in? Although I guess we could put whatever the hell we wanted in there. We got a spindle and another grindstone. She doesn't want to talk to us, though. Rude. Mm -hmm. Don't you know who we are? Got another chisel. And oh, there's a trash can right there. That's what I'm looking for, guys. Trash cans. You nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but isn't that what you do in video games, though? No you dig in. No one cares about you. Isn't that why you <laughs> what you do in video games, though? You dig in trash cans, like. I don't dig in trash cans. I dig in barrels. You dig in trash cans too, Jinx. I've seen I am you dig. a refined looter. <laughs> I've seen you do some trash can digging. Shoot, I've seen you loot. A trash can in real life, James. I don't loot in the <laughs> trash can. You didn't go in the trash can. But you we have found some good really stuff. nice stools. Mm -hmm. And I sold that shit. And we made some monies. And give these two fishing hooks away for the uh, fingernails. Yeah, that's what we'll do. There we go. So now we can do a fast travel. Fair oh. and square. And then we got to talk to Finch. Great, with this item I give you some of my luck, I guess. People say I have that in spades. Don't know if I believe it. Now, what shall you give me? We will give him... My fucking patience. <laughs> patience. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Everybody is so happy with us. Because we played that damn game giving shit away. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> People like it. Uh, so I what think... a weird game. Yeah, I think we're in a. We got respect in certain places. We're respected. Yeah, we're respected in certain places, and like everywhere, people at least no one you know are at the point where they don't care about us, which means we can trade again in those locations. We got clout. Like the gut, we were unable to trade there before, and now we can. So uh, that's gonna be super helpful, man. You more people lose trade all with. that respect you done earned by digging in trash. <laughs> Uh, they say that they may not respect me because of my trash digging, but then they they're willing to trade for the goodies I got out of that trash well, they can, didn't aren't they? No, you got it from the trash. <laughs> All right, so we're almost there. Should be right past these buildings, I think, or maybe it is these buildings. And there's just so much loading in the game, man. Like in between every little area, and yeah. And like it, it's, it's a bit much. Yeah, I mean, like, if it was a, like, super attractive game or something, I mean, it's just okay looking, though. He's got bullets. All he wants is our, our lockpick, though. We're not trading that. Because he's a snake thief. Mm-hmm. 
Can we trade with any of these children? We can't. But I think this is where we need to be, right? Something like that. It's over here, perhaps? Yes, that's the kid's nest. And <laughs> another trash can. Let's so we'll talk to this kid here. Got the muni boosters. I don't know if we want to talk to her. Artaya is in... Or did you want to read this one? Artaya is in the termitary, isn't she? Why was it locked? Will they open it soon? Uh, wait a second. What Taya? Taya Tai Cheek? Taya Tai Cheek, but we call her the Mother Superior. Mother Superior, isn't that cool as heck? It's Capella's idea. It's cool, all right. Cool as heck. <laughs> I need to talk to her, though. Like, what the hell's going on? It's like on? every single person we talk to has got a fucking quest, man. All the children's. All right, so it's not that house. It's This one is the nest. But if we wanted to go the to the... house where strange things happen. This seems to be over here by the boat somewhere. Ooh. Is this it right here? I don't know if that's it or not. Oh, we're hungry. Do we have any food? We just have just that milk peanuts. thing, don't we? No, we got this milk thing here. The tan. Mm. Let's drink it. Okay. Um, trying to see if uh, this is where we're supposed to be. It seems like it's over here by the boat. Didn't it say there was kids waiting around there? Wherever the stashes were? Maybe. I don't know. I just would hate to like take shit out of this one here. And then not leave anything? Yeah. Hmm, I don't think that's it, though. I think we gotta go around here. I think it's that right there. Do we gotta go in the house? So I think we can loot this. Oopsie. So let's go and loot it. I guess we'll have to hope that's not one of those stashes. <laughs> Let you lose. Alright, so let's go inside the house. <laughs> Getting lots of trash today though, guys. Quite impressed with our trash gathering. You live oh. your life, trash man. Oh, look at that fancy dress. I like it. I really love what she's done with the place. Alright, so we can talk to both of them. This is their throne, apparently. Oh. And just seeing if there's anything else here we can interact with. Alright, so I guess we'll start out by talking to her. No. No one can replace Simon. Out now. Who are you? One more word from you and everything will break. I told you get lost. Are you stupid? <laughs> Just wondering how you survived this long with manners like those. Oh, she's rude as shit. How dare you? Here's Capella. This must be the illumination mother shined with. Oh, okay. So they've have they're having a conversation together, and that's what the issue is. We just butted in. Difficult one. Um, so I was we just looking, looking for, for you. Oh, uh, so we can't talk to her hair. I understand and there are things you want to know. You think we might tell you if you ask right, but we won't. Not now. You're an interloper. All right, fine. I'm you leaving. Are two serious chicks. Damn, man. <laughs> All right. You've changed, haven't you? Or am I seeing things? And she said, "So why did you interrupt our argument?" Whose argument? <laughs> what argument? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katerina replaced her. Then Victoria died, and Katerina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? No, not really. Q-E-D. But it's none of your concern, Bjork. You, so you bumped into us accidentally. Whatever. Why couldn't you keep your big mouth shut? Don't you understand that words have power? You utter a word because you're bored and the whole future changes. It changes constantly. Listen carefully, Bjork. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to the people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely. Got it? <laughs> um... Okay, apparently we did something she didn't like. She want, didn't want us to go talk to them. Well, now I'm going to go talk to her anyway, because <laughs> I do what I want. All right, it's not your doing. I wasn't able to speak with them anyways. That's what we'll say here. Oh. 
mute curse. Did she take our voice? She might have. Now we can just go around poking people. Yeah, we got a trophy for that. Interesting. All right, so is this where we're trying to go to? Yeah, I think we're trying to There's go over this There's more dags. There's more dags. Hey, dags. Oh, we Live, can still talk. brothers and sisters. This one's in cahoots with Notkin's crew. So tell me, old man, which side are you really on? <laughs> Depends on who you are. We're the dog heads, and they're the soul and halves. We're above and they're below. We live in the tower, and they crawl in the earth. They're drawn to animals, and we reach for the stars. What's so hard to comprehend? <laughs> uh, I see you got a little war in your hands, eh? Are you dumb? This isn't a game of cops and robbers. It's serious stuff. They're pulling the town one way and we another. How does that even work? That's our great conflict, old man. The soul and a half see our tower as the root of all evils, and we can't live without it. The tower makes people into super people. The soul and a halves would rather become mindless pets. So if they want to be beasts, why are you the ones wearing the dog mask? That seems like a good thing to say. For a good reason, these masks remind us we're still beasts, and the true humans inside us are yet to come out. They can't see well, are almost deaf, and speak only in gibberish. Lots of room left for growth. And what's with the four on one? First off, it's four on one and a half. He does have half a soul more than the ordinary folk. Second, we're not here to kick his ass. They're the ones keen on bashing us with clubs and worse. Us, we're a peaceful bunch. We fight only in self-defense. Uh, so you say, why did you drive him up there like a cat up on up a tree. We're teaching him discipline. He should get used to heights. Uh, you don't know if I'm, you don't mind if I go upstairs and talk to him, do you? Go ahead. Who's stopping you? See for yourself. The higher you go, the better it gets. Great. All right, so that poor kid's stuck up there. So, just consistently finding ourselves having, like, tasks. There's so many tasks to do. Is this like furries versus anti-furries? <laughs> I would hope not, because they're children. Uh, so I hope they're not into that kind of stuff, but I don't know, Jinx. I don't know. What I do know is there's a box up here. Treasure! This isn't one of those boxes, is it? No. no. Just the books. Now I'm afraid to loot anything, guys. I don't know if I need to put something in there. Hey, we got a match, finally. And there's more to loot, so... Monsters. Of course, I'm going to run all the way up them. Let's not fall down, because we would die. Uh, it's interesting, though, how they have these big kind of towers that they built that are just stairs kind of reminds me them up. of the, you know that story in the bible they're trying to build stairs up to heaven and the tower failed. they did fail oh this guy's name is Smokey. so what'd they tell you you kids play curious games these days our times are simpler um that you're in team no heights yeah listen to that I'm in Team Freedom, and our team dislikes zealots. We don't appreciate being dragged by the collar to turn into angels or wind or whatever, all in good time. I see. Do you need help? We'll manage on our own. Uh, to be fair, it is beautiful up here. That's all right. All will be quiet when we gather at the station this evening. That's our no man's land, a good place. So you got, yeah, I've heard that. Stop prying. Grown-ups are not welcome where we gather. You ruin everything. Uh... Fair enough, I guess. Like, I'll just peek with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he doesn't want our help. That's fine, I didn't want to help him anyways. Alright, so we're, we're still trying to get to this damn, this damn thing. And trash can. Nothing in it. I don't even know if I looted that one already, guys, but we'll do it now. We didn't need to run around that building. There's a fucking gate right there. <laughs> That's awesome. So you can't go through there. So where is this thing here, man? I I'm think supposed to be leading. we gotta go back around to the stairway thingy. Go oh, through there, you think? You sure it's not down here? Oh. Hey, creepy peeper. I don't know, man. Hmm. I don't know that you can go over there. Well, I don't know. Those one kids are in the way. Maybe they moved boxes. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, guys. I kind of feel like that one place was the stash. That thing over there. And then it's just, like, not, like, completely circled accurately. Or it could be up in that tower that we just took stuff from. I feel like 
It's somewhere, and we took it already. It's either one of those two, I mean. I wish I knew which one, man. I thought we were trying to get to the spiral. Oh, that's way over no. there. No, yeah, it's right here. We've already been there. It's, it's circled here, but I don't know that you can go over there. Hmm. Across the way. I mean, I guess it didn't mark that we had been there, though, so... Is that fairy man that... The guy who yeah. fast-traveled? Yeah, yeah, yep. Hmm. Maybe there is something over there, but I don't know how you'd get over there. Unless you can go through this little path here and then go up around here. Perhaps. That would be annoying. Oh, yeah, I kind of feel like we wasted our time running over here, guys. Oh, well. Or we already looted it. It was one of those loot places, and now we're going to get in trouble because we done broke the rules. Just looking for trash cans up along here, guys. Man, there's nothing. All right, so where do we want to head to next? Looks like we're hungry as fuck. We should we probably stop. Yeah, we have enough money to stop at a grocery store. Perhaps we should on on the way. Uh, just seeing what's what's located here. And this place is called the Nutshell. Well, we've got a lot of like quests to do. Yeah, it seems like they're all kind of placed out of the way in shitty places. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, um, we could talk to her. We could talk to her if she's back. She might not be. There's also the governor mission to do, and then there's all the fucking shit over here to do, man. A lot of stuff, man. And like, are you? Do you have to do them all on the first day? I just don't know how that works. Well, it seems like once a day passes, that you lose all of those. Well, I wonder if... That you have. Well, that's what happened the first day, but we don't know for sure that's going to happen the second day, Jinx. Uh, so, let's go ahead and... we got to figure out how to get over there. <laughs> I guess we'll just start heading north for now. And we're, we're hungry as hell, man. So, yeah, we definitely are going to want to hit that store up. Do we have anything in our pocket? I don't think we do, do we? To eat? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Just nuts. I hope somebody's willing to trade for some of this junk I got, man. We're well respected. Why wouldn't they want our junk? You'd think so. Alright, so he wants the fish. We could trade it for his fish. Yeah, we got That'd lots be seven. of sharp things. Yeah. Um, so, he'll do the broken scissors. And that should also increase our opinion in the spleen. Or that unfair trade. All right, so we've got a fish, so we're going to eat that in a second. I'll do that now, actually. It's going to be salty. It's going to be salty, but it'll be okay. It's smoked, though, Jinx, but it's tasty. All right, so that satisfied some of our hunger. Uh, but apparently, and I said this in a previous episode, apparently the, the hunger is what most new players have issues with. It's food. Yeah, yeah, trying to figure out, like, where to get food, but I guess like, you know, vets of the game say like, food is not ever an issue, or they don't have issues with it. So they'll look down on us newbies. <laughs> Can't figure out where to get food. All right, so we need to go around this building here. And yeah, I don't know if the running actually saves you time because you're, ooh, coffee, man. I, oh, I like coffee. coffee. We won't trade for anything though. But yeah, you spend so much time having to get water, and it might even be burning our food down quicker as well. Mm -hmm. We talked to all these people, I think. Got a needle and a thimble. I got junk. Looking for more food, guys. And I, I wish there was a way to know if something was empty. Like a trash can was empty. Yeah. Kind of like uh, Skyrim where it says, or a lot of games where it says empty over it when you, when you hover over it. That'd be nice. So I wasn't like constantly... Trying to loot something and there's nothing in there. I'm like, why you gotta load up an empty trash can? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing even in there. Is it rolling the die to see if there's something random in there? Maybe. Perhaps, because yeah, I think it might be randomized. Um, but at the same time, like, if you've already been in there, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This yeah. person's just walking into the wood here. Uh, she's got the chestnuts. Chestnuts are weird looking. So what I'm trying to do, guys, is go back across that bridge, which is this way. How much time have we killed? A lot. Good God, man. It's been four hours in the game so far in this episode, and we have not, like, done hardly anything. Mostly just ran across the stupid map, man. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Seems to of, be the name of the game. A lot of running back and forth. Mm-hmm. You need to hurry and do this, but it's way over there, and you <laughs> can't get there easily. Yeah, it, it needs to load up every single time. Guess yeah, it we might be randomized. Fairy man. We could have. Uh, we do have two of them now, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we probably should have. Uh, when we were over here, we could have used that fairy man to go to that fairy man. Saved a little bit of time. It's too late now, though. Too late now, guys. All right, so we need to go up here now. And uh, if we see any water, we should get a drink. We got fishing hooks and the grindstone. We got a ton of grindstones, though. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to buy them from us. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not trying to sell the grindstones. Oh, we were supposed to stop at the store. I forgot we were doing There's that. But gathering. it's right here. There is a gathering. That's what it says, Jinx. They're going to burn a witch. All right, so I think that this is them talking about the uh, the dead people. Oh, they're mm -hmm. going to burn some dead people. And dead bodies. Because they won't stay in the ground. Well, I think it's because they're sick, Jinx. Oh, I thought it was because they didn't dig a deep enough grave. No, there's that disease that's going around, Jinx. Oh, Jinx yeah. forgets the premise of the game <laughs> quite often. Uh, so the, he's got canned food. And he'll buy it's all the junk. He's not sure what's what's in it. He loves junk. Yeah, we could always sell junk to him. Uh, though I don't think you get very much money for your junk. Like, I think the thing I had saw that said that most of the junk is, is more valuable for trading than it is for selling. Like nobody values it very highly. Because you can trick children into thinking it's cool. All right, so yeah, we can go in and buy a little bit of food here, guys. I think we should. Just spend a bunch of money. Let's get crazy. Mm hmm Try and keep ourselves alive. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on out here. Should we eat our food in case they try to steal it from us? I mean, I guess we could. We're a little bit hungry. We could eat that jerky. They're going to confiscate meat. all our goods. Oh, he liked that quite a bit, didn't he? Now we're super thirsty. Is there like a water nearby? I think there is one down yonder. Trash can. All right, we'll just have to drink of the next one we see. See, I don't see anybody nearby, and I'm not willing to stop here. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. Where do you think you're going, buddy? I'm here on important business. I just want to ask something. Everyone here wants to ask something. I'm not here to join the watch. I'm a doctor. I don't give a damn. Wait for your turn like everyone else. Uh, get off my case, man. You're a dick. This is the manager. Greetings. I'm sorry to inform you. You're officially banned from joining the watch. Governor's orders. Uh, why? Did you run out of the cats? Uh, so I'll say, um, <laughs> is it because I'm a doctor? I can do whatever I want. I would like to remind you that you're currently on probation. Until the murderer of Simon Kane, Isidore Burog, and several others is brought to justice, you're still considered a suspect. There's evidence against you. How many times do I have to say I'm innocent? I don't want to join the watch anyway. That's exactly what a guilty man would mm -hmm. say. Sabarov sure seems ready to take up the reins of power. It's about time if you ask me. Because you can't trust people, that's why. The role of the three families is about trust. In each other and in the townsfolk. The damn nobles trusted people to govern themselves. And the people, they are unruly beasts. They don't respond to kindness, only strength. Uh, so... In my experience, people respond better to kindness. Uh, I don't know. We'll say, speaking strength, how they join the town watch. Open your eyes, the line is right there. Why does it need so many people? To maintain order, of oh, we course. We won't read through all these jinx. We're just, uh, so you think people are un uh, unworthy of trust? Uh, what we need is someone who can keep the rabble in check. So she's in, in support of like an authoritarian government. Uh, so there's no appearing, uh, no point in arguing with you a lot. It wasn't kindness that killed those people. Or I can see your point. It wasn't kindness that killed those people, man. All right, so let's go inside and hope that there's a save point since this episode's pretty much over here. And so that we can get a, a save going here. I would assume there would be one here in this big old building. Yep, there's a save point right there. A clock. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, it's not glowy, though. So we could very easily uh, save the game here. Uh, what we'll go ahead and do is probably just talk to that guy, and then we'll save it. There's nobody here. Yeah, it's pretty empty for this big old building here. 
Um, I don't want to leave you guys curious what's going to happen here. Oh. They've got some sort of meeting here. With the mimes. We go in that door, we can I not. I can't see that being a very productive <laughs> meeting. <laughs> what? Alright, so this is Alexander Subarov. Oh, it's you. We made you a prime suspect yesterday. By mistake. Sorry, that was rash. You were too convincing a suspect. But I won't hear you complain. The error, error was irrevocable. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Not like you had me executed or anything. Nothing. Uh, let's see, what's it? Did you find my father's murder? <laughs> uh, we'll say uh, this one. I heed no investigation. There's no organized search. I hold no official post here in case you had any illusions on that part. My power is that of reputation. Traditionally, our family enforces order in the town on the rare occasions that it's broken. And those are rare, believe me. This is a peaceful little town. I know, a village, and you're the sheriff. Or how can you talk about order if no one's looking for the murder? <laughs> yeah, we'll say, uh, I know, a village, and you're the sheriff. Spare me the sarcasm, Bjork. Let's get this straight. You're still a suspect, and you'll be a suspect until the murderer is found and proven guilty. The only reason you're walking free is something called the presumption of innocence. Do I make myself clear? Good thing some smart people told you about that. Anything else I can help you with? My house is locked. We have the key. The house was locked by the committee that examined the crime scene. There may be evidence. It's in your best interest and that of the committee. <laughs> the investigation doesn't exist. Great. You may have the key. That house is your property and I have no legal grounds to prevent your access. Exactly. So we got the key to our house. Excellent. So we can now get into our house, our father's house, I should say. Uh, so that is, should be marked on the map now. Yep, there it is right there. Have the key to my home now, and we can enter into our house. I'm sure there'll be some good stuff and some sleep uh, quest in lines own there. Childhood bed. We could sleep in our own bed now if we wanted to. It's probably too small. Right, too so uncomfy. <laughs> and I, I think it'd probably be weird sleeping in our dad's bed, but. That crusty old slobbery pillow. Maybe we had a nice, a nice child, childhood bed. I doubt it. We don't know. It was probably, probably wasn't nice. We but. ran with the rabble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the game is saved, guys. Uh, it's already almost six o'clock, eighteen hundred here in the game, and uh, we still got a lot of quests to do, man. Quite a few quests. I don't see how you could possibly do them all. There's like so much to do. Uh, see, I don't know how you'd get them all done. Yeah, I think that's part of the point. Mm -hmm. Making choices is, you know, making choice what's what's more important to you. But it's not always about like, oh, I think I would like to do this one over the other one because, uh, you know, if you're on the other side of the map, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to it. Sometimes you don't get a choice. Sometimes it feels like you're kind of forced into going one way than the other just because that's what's closest and there's such limited time. I guess if you got more of those fingers, you could do more fast traveling and save yourself a little bit of time. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to figure out which one we want to do for the next episode. There's a lot of choices here. I feel like we should probably find out what's going on here with our, with the, at the cemetery, but that's the furthest one away. Uh, it feels like we can get into our own home at any time, so that's not. I don't think that's time limited. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, there's the, the Capella girl, which, remember, we wanted to ask her about the, the, the kids on the list, or all the people on the list, and seeing uh, what that's about. I really don't care about this one, I suppose. Uh, and then this one, that's something new, so we could go there. So what we could do is just head down here and do this quest, and then from there go over and do this one. Uh, that'd be one option. I'd love to hear guys' input, though, and what you'd like to see next. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.